the reality is and the real world is, talk about this a lot on my show, there is nothing that we can do, no gun confiscations, no legislations, no buybacks, no nothing that will prevent evil people from doing evil things with guns. Absolutely nothing. There is always, no matter what we do, going to be bad people that hurt good people because they want to, because they're evil people. That's the point. However, it is never the answer to try to believe that bad people or people that break the law will abide by laws that law-abiding citizens will be forced to abide by, right? Because, you, of course, eventually you're going to have a lot of people turn their guns in because why? They don't want to be criminals, right? They don't want to be in trouble with the law. I'm not doing it. You heard it here first. Camera in the back. I ain't doing it. Uh, but the point is, evil is evil no matter what. It is our obligation as Americans not to look at things emotionally. All right, This is a huge problem in society today. We get emotional. Every single mass shooting is plastered all over the news outlets. And if you look at, there's 5 million NRA members that are registered members right now. They probably own 37 guns apiece. All right? I think someone said there's a billion guns out there right now. If you actually look at how many people are actually hurt by these weapons, it's 0.01% of actual guns and gun owners in the, in the grand scale of things. And that's the non-emotional argument. And 99% of a situation wins every time and proves the point.